Hi. What I'm going to be doing right now is 2003 AP Calculus AB for your response question number five. Um, the question basically asks the first step will be if dv dt, dt is negative 5 pi square root of h, what is dh dt? In other words, let's look at what the question is asking first because I'm doing a related rates type problem now. The question is asking how fast is the water going down? Let's first look at a couple of things with this question. This is not a cone question where the radius changes. If I look over here, I know the radius is 5. If I look over here, I know the radius is 5. I look down here, the radius is 5. So the radius is going to always be the same. Therefore, it's a constant. It does not change at all. So let's look what I have. V equal pi r squared h. Since the radius is a constant, d, uh, V equal pi 5 squared 25 h. Or if that's the case, V equal 25 pi h. And now what I want to know is how fast the height is changing in rel relative to time. Well, now I have to find the derivative in terms of t. So I can say dv dt is equal to 25 pi dh dt. I know from before the given dv dt is negative 5 pi square root of h. So negative 5 pi square root of h is equal to 25 pi dh dt. Of course, if I use my Algebra 1 skills, divide both sides by 25 pi. Of course, I'm going to simplify. So now, dh dt is equal to negative square root of h over 5. And that's what the question is. Prove that dhdt is negative square root of h over 5. We just did that. The next part says, well, if dhdt equals negative square root of h over 5, find h in terms of t, of t, when given given when p is equal to 0, h is equal to 17. Let's look at what I know. If I multiply both sides by dt, and then divide both sides by square root of h, uh, let me just do this in my mind. dt dt square root of h, square root of h. Look what I'm left with. 1 over square root of h dh is equal to negative 1 fifth dt. I'm going to rewrite this to make it easier to look at for all of you. Negative 1 half power dh is equal to negative 1 over 5 dt. The next thing I need to do is to integrate. So let's integrate both sides of the example. Whatever you do to one side, again, algebra, you have to do to the other. Well, this side's easy. Negative one-fifth t plus c. Plus some kind of constant. We don't know what the constant is yet. We're going to apply that later, but let's look what I have here h to the negative one-half power becomes h to the one-half power over one-half. And of course, this becomes, right here, 2 square root of h, because h to the half power is square root of h, is equal to negative one-fifth t plus c. Now, I could stop playing around with it, but you know what? 
I can substitute for C, for work for C at any time. Well, I know what T equals zero, H is 17. So let's look what I have. Two square root of 17 is equal to negative one-fifth times zero plus C. C is equal to two square root of 17. Now that I got square root of seven, two square root of seventeen, what do I do? I go back to the original equation. Okay, and let's see what that original equation was. Two square root of h, two, two square root of h equal negative one fifth t plus c. And since I know what c is now, two square root of h equal negative one-fifth t plus two square root of 17. And right now all I'm doing is using my algebra one skills. That's it. So when you look at the calculus, you really have to know your algebra well. There are no shortcuts to it. I'm going to divide both sides by two. So, so ultimately, square root of h is equal to negative one-tenth t plus square root of 17. And what I'm going to do now is whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. I'm going to square both sides. So h is ultimately given as negative one-tenth t plus square root of 17 square. And personally, I like writing it this way. H of t in terms of time is negative one-tenth t plus square root of 17 squared. Because it's really telling me that h is a function of the time. Now the next part of the question says, when is the coffee pot going to be empty? Well, let's look at, think about the original example. The coffee pot, it keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. What I'm really asking is, when it's empty, that means the height is going to be zero. Oh, wow. So all I have to do is set this equal to zero and solve. This becomes real easy for, for all of you. Zero is equal to negative one-tenth t plus square root of 17 squared. Of course, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So I will take the square root of both sides. I know I don't have to do it at a calculus level, but I do show every single piece that's out there. Square root of zero is still zero. Is equal to negative one-tenth t plus square root of 17. One-tenth t is equal to square root of 17. T is equal to 10 square root of 17. So what I did just now is I worked on three separate related rate problems straight out of the AP exam. If any of you have questions about your homework or specific, question or specific problems, please feel free to email me and um, I'll try to answer it via YouTube. Thank you and have a great day.